Hey. Hey. <laughs> winner time. Announcing the winner for the Roden Schwartz RTB 2004. Ah, oh, look at that. Thing of beauty. Joy forever. RTB 2004 oscilloscope, which we just so happened to find in the dumpster with all the stuff with it. It's, it's almost brand new and we're going to give it away. Um, I ran a uh, thing on the... But yeah, I asked for people to submit video entries and uh, we had... Whoop, hang on. We'll go over to here. Here it is. We had all the entries here. They submitted them on the forum. How many, David? There were... Hundred and something. Yeah, after we lots. filtered it, it was over one hundred and fifty. Like two, I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. The, anyway. the guy at the end did stats, didn't he? Yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah, someone. Someone did stats or something. So thank you. Yeah, on the discussion forum. Uh. Anyway, so there you go. Um, it did stats and things like that. Anyway, yes, lots of entries, more than I thought, because I thought the video requirement would uh, not normally rule out a lot of people, but um, yeah. So they entered, and the standard was ridiculously good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were... Guilt-tripped. Uh, <laughs> you go through, like, 100 entries, and you just feel so guilty at the end. You're yep. like, I can't give you full it score. <laughs> it did. But it was, you're wonderful regardless. Yep. It's like... Uh, it was it was pretty horrific experience, actually. Um, and trying to, We did watch every single one of the videos. What we did is we both watched them separately. We had a spreadsheet, and we ranked them one to three. And one being like worthy, two being, yeah, pretty good, three being, nah, not really, not getting the vibe at all. Um, and there were, and then when, so we did that separately, and then we merged the two lists, and the ones with the top, with how we both, if we both ranked them one, we, they went on the short list. Um, yeah, we actually, we had oh, there was similar, the other one. we had yeah. similar items, like a lot of them, so, yeah. so yeah. I was like, oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was, yeah, so we, I think we ended up with eight or nine or ten or yeah. something, yeah. Um, who that we both ranked as, you know, like, yeah, should probably, you know, um, yeah, so like 5% short, short, of entries or something. or something like that. Yeah, so, so, yes, thank you very much to everyone who entered. Unfortunately, we've only got one of these babies and yes 10-bit adc mm, smell it mix signal scope and um yeah it's as a 300 mega 300 i think it's 300 meg this is the fully optioned up version with the serial decoding and everything so it's absolutely brilliant um so that's how we did it and then we merged them and then we just argued for the last couple of hours over who should win? Yeah, and we, yeah. yeah, it was it was hard. So and like a Twitter poll. Uh, yeah, and then we did a Twitter <laughs> poll of yeah. I, was... I should actually call that up and whether like who should we give it to? Should we give it to a youngster? Should we give it to a hacker? Like a you know a community group? Uh, should we give it to the most technically worthy who could most or the person in the most final financial dire straits or whatever? Um, you know it was. It was tough. In the end, we sort of chose a winner that was a bit of a combination of yeah, a few of those. He categories. is worthy. He's worthy. <laughs> yes. Um, worthy. So many though. Yeah, so there were so were. many worthy. Seriously, like we couldn't pick. In the end, it was like, well, yeah. we did, didn't we? Should we announce a winner? Yeah. All right. I'll call it. Or up should on. we go to the runner-ups and? Hang on. No. Well, there are no runner-ups. Or the the uh, uh, contenders. Well, no, because then we'd have to list all at least top 10 or top 15 that yeah. we thought were, that both matched our list. We'd have to... Yeah. But we will do a shout out to a couple of others. But the winner is... Ready? Drum roll. Winner of this fantastic scope um, giveaway is... And by the way, sorry, but you will be liable for all import charges if there's any. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, the winner is... Ta-da, I will show it. Yes, it's on screen. Yep, we're all good. Ta-da! The winner is Matt Hollands. Good on you, Matt. Um, <laughs> he is... Well, shall we play his video? Shall we play it in full? Okay, let's go. My name's Matt. Uh, I'm from England. And you may have seen me around on the forums. However, not so much recently, as I've been quite busy. Because tomorrow I'll be graduating from university with my master's degree in electronic and electrical engineering. Um... And along with leaving university, uh, I lose my access to all of their equipment, including the lace cutters, um, 3D printers, and especially the lab equipment, like the oscilloscopes. Um, and so this is my entry into the Roden Schwartz oscilloscope giveaway, and I will now try and justify my uh, entry to you. So I'll give a quick overview of my current lab equipment. Um, 
we have the necessary cup of coffee, my power supply, my Hiko soldering iron, a pretty cheap uh, UNI-T multimeter, and my 25 megahertz mm. scope, uh, oh, two-channel right. AWG. Yeah. Uh, gets Free the job USB. done, but not ideal, as it can, yeah, 25 megahertz is quite low. Um, so a couple of projects I've worked on, this is the Monkey RF, it's uh, a device for recording and replaying uh, radio signals at 433 uh, megahertz, and it's a custom-made board, custom-made box um, by me. Uh, last summer I built this, which I call Spectrum, it's a sound-to-light thing, it takes different frequencies of sound and displays them as light. Um, it's entirely analog design, which is kind of cool. Um, and I took the first uh, prototype um, boards, which didn't work unfortunately, <laughs> and uh, turned that into my coaster for nice. my coffee. And then at uni, I started uh, using FPGAs a lot. So this was part of my master's project. I was using this lattice part here. Um, and now I'm working on the Xilinx part, which runs at 100 megahertz, which is unfortunate as I can't even measure the clock because my oscilloscope isn't fast enough. Um, I've done yeah, a lot more other projects, and you can read about them at projects.mattholland.com. And this is where, <laughs> like, I thought, you know, yeah, it's not a bad entry. Yeah, he's doing <laughs> stuff, and I almost ranked him. We have both almost ranked him pretty, like, yeah, but like two, mid-range. Like, almost, yeah, mid-range category. Guess the video yeah. was by no means the best video. Um, super understated. It was super <laughs> understated. And I almost didn't, like, put him in my top one list. He's lucky we were, like, investigating people. Lucky like. we, in- we investigated. Cause he, and I was annoyed that he mentioned his website and he didn't link it in. <laughs> he didn't link it in. You're Gamble. lucky, Matt. <laughs> you are so lucky. <laughs> So yeah, I so I went, went and then, but I checked out his website and his other projects are probably are what really sold it to us. Really, I mean, he he doesn't have a YouTube, does he? No, I don't think he has a YouTube. Not that we saw. Like, no, it's twenty. I, I don't know. Eight videos. Eight eight videos. I don't know if he's actually made any. Um. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's done some other videos. Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah. But yeah, like he's. So they're nothing compared to his he, blog. Yeah. No, <laughs> like his blog is like all documenting all the projects. Which he's done. He even did something based on my micro calc. Yeah, he did like a Credit sandwich card PCB. Calculator, sandwich uh, PCB thing. Yeah, he used the sandwich PCB idea from your macro calc, I think. Yep, and he's um, done like smart watches um, and just tons of different projects. So, yeah, um, uh, CRT oscilloscope. Yeah, like he's trying to make himself a better scope. Like, yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's trying to make himself. <laughs> What is it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he got okay an old HP uh, scope and tried to uh, replace it with an LCD. A logic analyzer. Logic analyzer. Sorry. Yeah. And um, just lots of there's some reverse engineering stuff and there's all sorts of anyway. Uh, really cool. So different um, content producer, which of course me being a content producer really that pushed my buttons. Um, and, and all these projects are impressive. Like they're, they're all done pretty, good. pretty well. Yeah. Like. Yep. And yeah. he's just graduated uni so he's a bit of a youngster so it's sort of a half tick in that category although um we would do these are not runner-ups as such um but i i just wanted to shout them out because there's are no youngsters. like there's no constant there's no no there's no sorry there's no consolation no, prize yeah. uh, <laughs> or, like, or or giveaways unless or, the dumpster magically produces more oscilloscopes because there were so many it. people who <laughs> who wanted, like, who needed a basic scope. And, you know, I wish we almost thought about selling it and buying, like, five <laughs> yeah, <'cause there's> <laughs> smaller a, yeah. scopes or something, you know, like, yeah, because there were just so many people who could use yeah, a scope. Yeah, and, and some great hacker spaces, yep. like, that you're like, oh, man, you guys could... Yep, yeah, it's, yeah. The benefit abs- would spread, but, like... Yes, exactly. Yeah. But hopefully, uh, Matt can produce content, keep us updated on his blog, hopefully produce YouTube channels and show us what he's going to do with this puppy um so yeah i just wanted to give a shout out to two well this one this, this first one 16 year old kid it really impressed us i think it was one of the first videos we saw yeah wasn't it really... and it was this is really good he's 16 so shout out to philip uh shilk philip shilk and anyway hey david. um hey david okay i'm philip a shilk? 17 year old high school shilk. from austria who's currently on a bit of an adventure and living in istanbul turkey I have Sorry. a huge passion anyway, for engineering is it Istanbul? and electronics, but no formal Where, education Matt? in the subject in because, the US? well, I'm still UK. in school. Oh, sorry, UK, My yes, he's in the old dark. which I could really use the MSO capabilities. Anyway, what he's done is he's, he's 16 years old. Up. 
a little features an 8-bit ELU for both He's designed his own uh, a lot of people operations. did this. How many? Like four or five? Oh, yeah, at least. least. But a most of them were based on this one design. Right. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, yeah, but but we just kept seeing the same one, this breadboard 8-bit microcontroller. And this guy seems to have done it all on his own and he's designed the board and he shows the layout of the board, the 3D models, the schematics. So, and there's the layout of the board. Really, really, really great. Um, 16 year old. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's going places. I was about to order all the parts right. in the PCB. So, yeah, and have, have he, was on, he was on he was on your top strength. list for... Yeah, yeah he was my top. Almost top by, by, by having a cat on there. <laughs> but then you redeem yourself having a dog. You had a dog. Yeah. School dog. It's all right. Anyway, so shout out to Phil. He's going places, folks. Uh, yeah. Subscribe. Oh, he's in... No, I don't think he's got many. No, he's got zero subs. <laughs> one video. This is his video. Anyway, 16 year old. And another one who is with... I'd, I'd like to shout out because I think this guy has a future on YouTube um, and he should stick with it. John Sutley. Take it away, John. Hi, Dave. And Dave, let's go with that. I'm John. David. And I need that scope. <laughs> it's not the right thing to say. So right now I'm a university student living in my parents' basement and I want to start a new educational video series on electronics. So without further ado, let me walk you through my basic setup in terms of equipment and such. This is my desk, and this is where I write everything down. Sweet. I'll usually draw schematics or explain basic electrical concepts. Or maybe I'll just pull out a breadboard and prototype something up real fast. Now, besides the camera and spare parts, here's some of the equipment I'm working with. Tech 465. So right now I'm using a BK Precision oh, 2806 multimeter. BK Kinda crusty, <laughs> but still in spec. And for redundancy, this Fluke 110. The reason I keep the 2806 around is because the Fluke 110 can't measure current. I'm also using my trusty Heiko FX888 for the majority of soldering I do, and this old Tektronix 465B oscilloscope. So the only real problem I have with it is that I can't do digital storage. It's an analog scope. So I can't really show how analog and digital signals change over time, unless that time period's very short. A lot of the content I plan on making will be based around electronics concepts, robotics, vintage computing, the electrical side of music equipment, programming, repair videos, and a lot of fun hobbyist projects. And the notebook. Catch you next time. Yeah. Yeah. John is going places. Seriously. Like, he's, like, he should stick to making Check out his channel. Yeah. Subscribe. Hasn't got many videos there, but I hope he keeps it up. So, yeah, I always wanted to shout out those two youngsters. Um, there yeah. were other youngsters in there. Like, early, youngest was like 14? Yeah. Or something? Yeah, we know. Anyway. We had like a... We had, <laughs> we had like sub 10-year-old, didn't we? That one where like... Was this the... <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Is this <laughs> the entry? Is this the person who's entering or are they just... We yeah, weren't sure who was entering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We weren't sure if it's... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, but. so that's it. We've waffled on long enough. So congratulations to Matt. Yeah. Um, from... Yeah, very yeah nice. you've got your high speed projects. You can Matt. use this. There is. Um, yeah, we thought he was technically worthy. He's working on RF projects, mixed signal, FPGA, all that sort of jazz. And he has a track record of producing projects and publishing them on his website. So, yeah. yep, hopefully you agree. If not, well, <laughs> flame us down below. Um, so sorry, but we only had one of these to give away. And hopefully, if we did the right job here, we. Pick the right winner. Give us a thumbs up. If not, give us a thumbs up still. It doesn't matter if you can give a thumbs this down. This was so difficult to judge. <laughs> it was It was painful. Uh, the, the it, <laughs> it was... I, I don't think I want to run one of these again. <laughs> the video. The me, yeah. I knew what I was getting in for. I didn't expect so many, though, and such a good standard. So yeah. thank you, everyone who entered. It was brilliant. That's it. Congratulations, Matt. Catch you next time. Bye.